When I started out wrestling, I was told by a couple of people when I was there and I was ready and I was helping out with the ring and I was training and I was going, they, they said to me, look, wrestling won't always be this good. You, you go and you go and you go and some stuff happens that you won't enjoy and it almost be like wrestling's turned its back on you. Dad walking away on me and turning his back on me was like all of wrestling turning its back on me. This is a guy that I've spent hours travelling with, up and down the country, training, just bonding, and for him to just walk away, I don't, I don't understand, and I still don't understand. He left me with the proven, who had to, a point to prove, and they beat me down, and they, they hurt me, but he hurt me, and those bruises that I had, and that, that pain in my stomach, that faded, but the, the pain of Dan leaving me, that still sits with me. But life's a journey. You've got to keep moving forward, because if you don't move forward, you get left behind. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep going at the pace that I'm going. I'm going to keep partying, and I'm going to keep that bus rolling. If it happens again, so be it. If Dan wants to come and say something to me, bring him. But I'm going to keep moving forward regardless of what happens. And moving forward, I wrestle Joe Connors next. Not in a tag match, not in an eight man, in a singles match. Now, I wrestled Joe about a year ago when I was just some guy. I was just that guy in green. And I didn't mean anything. And I didn't know as much as I know now. And, and he beat me, and rightly so. I see his videos and I can see what he's doing to people and I can see the mind games but I don't let that affect me because I know deep down he's a wrestler that wants to win and he knows how to manipulate people. He's a, an amazing wrestler who's got wins over some incredible, incredible talent but I'm there to put a stop to that. You know, I've, I've had my first televised win but that was in a tag match. That was with Justin Sison, who's an incredible athlete. I've almost got an upper hand because of how good he is. But when it comes down to it, what every wrestler wants, what everyone wants, is that opportunity and that moment where they win in a singles match. Not me and someone else, me. And that's what's gonna happen. Joe, I'm sorry, you're a fantastic wrestler, but as much momentum as you have moving forward, I've got momentum and I'm going to keep rolling and I'm going to get that singles win and that is going to mean so much to me.